another segment on air freak it's me again precious how are you guys doing and how was your weekend i hope it was great so last week was thanksgiving week here in the u.s and it was so much fun lots of food parties spent time with families and friends and we had a great time so i want to give you guys the insight of a day after thanksgiving here in the u.s it's called the black friday black friday is a day where all these stores has massive sales great sales if you guys think it's great to me it's just the way you know stores try to like take our money and put in their black book but anyway so this year stores like best buy walmart opened at 12 a.m i actually went to best buy and you guys it was crazy they had people all around the building it was a whole lot of people the cops were there it was just awesome um best buy had five ipads i think like 10 to 20 computers so i don't know how many people would buy these items so last weekend one of the hottest club here in atlanta called creams had like the biggest parties it's called the african experience it was great we had um young g's in the building and so it was so much fun everybody came out to party and had a great time so that is for the thanksgiving stay tuned for hot topics all right guys it's time for hot topics i'm sure you guys cannot wait for this news i have for you guys today so Richard Dominic had a picture of her in a makeup of an old lady. African movies, Nollywood, they're doing a great job in their makeup artists, you know, from young to old. So that's her picture right there. She's actually looking good as an old lady. I think um, Richard Dominic is a pretty lady, young or old. Next hot topic is Yvonne Okoro. Yvonne Okoro is a Ghanaian and you know, she's Ghanaian and Nigerian. She mostly acts um, Ghanaian movies. Um, she celebrated her birthday last weekend, November 25th. And of course, she was in the arms of John Dumelo. For those of you that love John Dumelo, mm -hmm, I'm not saying they're dating, but he spent her birthday with her. Um, she's a great actress. Um, she came to the limelight when Yvonne Nelson was on a break and Nadia Buhari was nowhere to be found in the industry. Yvonne Okoro merged out and started acting. So Yvonne Okoro, happy belated birthday from Air Freak. The next hot topic I have for you guys today is Mona Lisa Chindu. Mona Lisa Chindu is a Nigerian actress. Um, she's been called Mona Liar because she has a two mouth. She talks both sided. She's actually divorced now because she was blaming her husband for beating her up. But her husband was saying the divorce was based on her family. So, you know, ladies, when you divorce with a man, they try to talk like, you know, the guy's at fault. So, Mona Lisa needs to get her act right, get her story right, and move on. I actually heard her husband has remarried and, you know, has moved on with his life. Why Mona Lisa Chindu is just there, you know, distracting the guy's attention. Next hot topic is my girl Nadia Buhari. Um, so two guys are in love with Nadia Capital Femi um, Capital Femi signed with Kenny's music and also my boy Falu Ipupa Falu Ipupa is this Sukus guy. He plays Sukus music very lovely musician So anyway, both of them are heads over heels for Nadia Buhari. Of course, you know, she has to choose one man She can't be with two men for me. I prefer Falu Pupa cute guy handsome that's him with his Gucci belt. I love him too. But anyway, for Nadia, that's cool. She can have him. Next hot topic on the Yankee side. So guys, for you guys that watches The Real Housewife of Atlanta, last week was crazy. Fidra brought this um, stripper to Candy's party. He's called Ridiculous. You guys should hear, watch my mouth. Ridiculous. Yes. So, you know, I didn't see what was ridiculous about him, but from the um, from the show, something was ridiculous about the guy. Of course, Candy's mom was not happy. Nene Lakes, of course, was upset and she left the scene. You know, so I guess something wasn't right about the whole ridiculous guy. 
So next hot topic is Tamika Raymond. You guys know Tamika Raymond. She's the ex-wife of Osha Raymond. She's filing custody. Well, she's filing sole custody for her kids. Um, evidently, Osha had cut off her credit cards. You know, I don't know why you would do that to a mother of your children. You should let her, you know, take care of your children and have all the credit cards that she wants. I don't know why Osha did that. Um, there's no reason why your girlfriend should interfere in your ex-wife's business because of the children. So that being said, I think Tamika is doing the right thing to file custody of her kids and I guess the credit card um, so she can take care of these lovely children for Osher. The next hot topic here in Atlanta is T.I. and Tiny. These two lovebirds are having a reality show. It's called The Family Hustle. T.I. said his goal in life is God family and hustle. See, I love to hustle. I think there was this season where he showed stack of dollar bill and he said he made that in two hours, which I guess we make in a year or two years. So the reality show is going to be great. I want you guys to watch it on VH1.com. Tia is actually teaching his kids how to sing, how to be a good father, and also with his wife, how to, how to have a romantic dinner with his wife. I was going to give you guys this insight. His son is light-skinned and his son was saying he's a white boy. And of course, Ti said, no, you're not a white boy. You're just a light-skinned black man. So check it out on vh1.com you guys until next week stay tuned for more hot topics from air freak i'm your host precious have a good day Girl, I can't believe, I can't believe Baby like you, come to my way And me I go like, make me go find somewhere Where me and you go there, na day I go tell you say I want you, na day you go know how much I need you Na day I go come out my rose flower Give them to you, tell you I love you There's no delay for here we day I want to share my love with you Anything you want to go Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another segment of Relationship Talk. I'm your co-host Ijama. First and foremost, let me say a happy, happy Thanksgiving to everyone here in the U.S. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. You guys had a long one from Thursday till Sunday. You guys ate, got drunk, party. I know it's a blast. Now I'm here today to bring to you Friends with Benefits. Um, so we took a poll and we asked you guys what you guys want to hear discuss on our show. Uh, so let me talk about, let me give you the definition first on friends with benefits. Um, friends with benefits is basically two individuals being involved who don't have a title, uh, relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage. They're just sexually involved. Um, so today on the show, I'm going to have my host join me, Precious. Um, just to chime in on this lovely, oh so lovely topic. Yay! Friends with Benefits in 2011. It, it's going on and it's, it's in full effect. It is. It is. People, you know, these days don't want to have anything to do with a guy or guys don't want to have anything to do with ladies. So Friends with Benefits is like the new title. So it's easier. It's easier to do it. So why not do it? Yeah, I guess it's easier to do it, but why do it? I mean... To me, it's better to have a relationship, you know, than to have someone that, you know, I'm just sleeping with without nothing. So basically, if I'm sleeping with the guy, he calls me, I don't even have to pick up his phone. I'm like, oh, next. Yeah, I, I think a, a lot of deceit has come into play. So women and men are finding it easier because you can be in a so-called relationship and having sex with this person mm -hmm. but it's really not a relationship and so women and men are finding it easier to just be on the loose end oh i still do what i want to we still hook up when we want to and that's about it that's very true that's very true it's crazy and especially in atlanta where you have what's the ratio like 100 girls to like one guy mm -hmm. so guys will just want to sleep with you and of course be friends with benefit and have no string attached so it's it's crazy so it's it, it's making me question like what is the actual pros to 
being in a relationship hmm I wonder it's you know what's the pros to be in a relationship I mean it's better of course to be in a relationship that way you know you're sleeping with just one person the person who of are course, you really you, sleeping with one person I mean you know in your mind you hope in your you mind, are in your mind you believe you're sleeping with one person you know these days you just have to believe because yeah. if you if you try to dig <laughs> in <laughs> If you try to dig in, then you find out that, girl, it's more than just you. Exactly. But, you know. So, I, I think it kind of goes back to what I said. That's why people are finding it easier to just be friends with infants. Yeah, true. To some people, it's easy. I mean, to me, it's not easy. It's not uh -huh. easy? Why? It's just better to have a title. I like titles. I like boyfriend, you know. Oh, you like boyfriend. Male friend. At least have small <laughs> title. Male friend, okay. Male friend. That's the same thing. <laughs> you, can't, you can't question your male friend. You can't ask where he's going he's just your friend yeah but there's a title okay instead of just sleeping with you know this night is is john tomorrow is michael he can still sleep with whoever he wants to sleep with that's you true. think you're sleeping with one person and he's sleeping with a hundred a hundred people and then that comes up give you diseases it's and crazy. then it's the same thing with a relationship so i think it's just less headache friends with benefits for that's what people are seeing it as that's why it's so accepting yeah, with this generation, of course, friends with benefits is getting bigger than even marriage or, you know, having relationships. So, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. The world is coming to an end. It's the cool thing, too. People want to experience different people. Some people say, oh, he does this better in the bed. Yeah, and then know, I have John who does this Yeah, you know, better. I actually had one guy last week and we're having a discussion and he said, oh, would you drive a car without test driving it? Exactly. Like, excuse me. So he wants to try test drive Toyota, test drive Jaguar, test drive Land Rover. So that's what that's actually friends with benefits too. So that's friends with benefits. People's mindset is, you know, uh, and crazy. and um just to kind of you know touch on that, like a man or a woman is gonna be like, man, you never experienced a person or whatever, whatever, and you finally get into a relationship. A, like, a relationship with them and they don't know how to have sex well so it's good to test drive i don't know what do you think viewers what do you think let us know let us know what you guys think yeah let us know what they think you know hopefully they think it's not good <laughs> <laughs> right because i mean 2011 we're going to 2012 and you know so you're thinking people need to switch it up Switch it up, do things right. The right yeah, do things the right way. Do but that ratio, right that 10 to 100 ratio, why would men or women want to do things right when they have so many options? Like I said, mindset. I understand, you know, you have 100 women to one guy, you know, but at the same time, you still want to do things right. You don't want to have benefits and then, um, you know, something bad comes up. Okay, okay. So... This brings me to my next subtopic. What I wonder has anything long term come out of friends with benefits? I mean, sometimes it just comes out, you know, when the guy, of course, have friends with benefit, and the friend is doing something beneficiary to the guy, and he feels, you know, I think I, I don't know the ratio or statistics of what has come out of that that whole friends with benefits, but I think it kind of confuses things as far as like. If you get with someone and you know they're performing well sexually then that's all you're seeing so it's kind of hard for you to see the other good qualities they qualities, have yeah so yeah you may could just turn it into a relationship but is that relationship just based on sex or is it more well with time it will be more it will be more than sex it will be other things cooking cleaning and stuff Who like said that they, so. clean? they have to cook and clean benefit the guy has to eat <laughs> <laughs> he can eat out <laughs> Then they won't marry you. Or then you can't have them as boyfriend or girlfriends. Oh. So, if the man is eating out, it's not going to turn into a, a long-term situation? For an African man, it probably will not. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying my part, right? For an African man, you don't cook, you don't clean. Um, sex will die. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Right? It's going to be hard. So, I'm wondering within the community as far as like between african americans blacks and caucasians whites who has more of these friends with benefits because you know, my oh black people my be wild I, they, they be wild i'm say, sorry i mean black people yes but oh my goodness, <laughs> africans are 
Man, Africans are going crazy on this friendship benefit. I tell I you, know. again, Alana, it gets to their head. Honestly, like, I don't know what's going on between mm. my African brothers here in Atlanta, but their mindset is, man, it's off the chain. It's off the chain. It is off the chain. I, I think African guys prefer, you know, benefit. They, it, and it's sad because, you, you know, we're taught on that whole you know, courting yeah. and getting marriage, but get married. But right now, it's like I mean, African men they want to get single girls want to get married. You guys, they I mean, stop this benefit and move and on. then they all stop have friends with benefits. So guess what? They've all slept with all the same girls. So by the time it comes time to marry, there's yeah. nobody for them to marry because their friend next to him has already slept with that girl, and the one on the other end has slept with his girl. And I, yeah. I remember a guy one time, he told me, he said, honestly, I'm not going to marry an African guy. He said, I'm not going to marry a girl in Atlanta because guess what? I'm sure she slept with a, quite a few people <laughs> and it's probably been one of my friends. So when we're at the altar, the guy will be sitting <laughs> in the audience and he has already smashed my girl. I know, right? It's crazy. I hope this change for the better in 2012. That's our prayer. Man, we hope it changes. We, we, so. we, we, we're going to need a lot of prayer. We'll yeah, need. we will. All I'll right. pray. All right, that's it for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, on E Africa Atlanta Friends with Benefits. Send us some of your stories on our website at www.eafric.com. Some of those good stories and some of those not so good stories. And also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at eafric.com. Until next week, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. I want to share my love with you Anything you want, I will give up to you There will be no more problems If you give your love to me, baby Make me get flow, my darling. You they make me go low, my honey. You they sweep me up, oh. make me get it in idea. Mm -hmm. One plus one is equal to two. But me and you, we are equal to one. The way you they laugh, not the way I they laugh. We do make sense. That's why I say there's no delay, but here we get. I want to share.